Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Reggie Bana and I'm the owner of RV Studios Photography. Lately, I've been wanting to be a little bit more creative and to try and take my business in another direction. Have you ever felt like you could be doing so much more with your brand or your business? Well, lately, I've been getting that feeling quite a bit. So I needed to try something out to prevent that dreaded burnout. And before you talk about it, I always have to mention, thank you for dropping by my channel. And before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been really enjoying our content. And if you've been interested in what my channel has to offer to you, it would be amazing if you could share this video to someone who you may think might be interested in it also. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. When it comes to photography, sometimes I feel like a jack of all trades and a master of none. Currently right now, I specialize in portraiture, events photography, and wedding photography. You could also sprinkle in a little bit of sports photography in there from time to time also. To be perfectly honest, I enjoy all types of photography. However, portrait photography is the best for me because you get to sort of sit back and just be as creative as you want. And I feel like when it comes to weddings and events, it is a little bit more formulaic. Now, yes, when it comes to wedding and events, you could also flex your creative muscle. However, I feel like I can be infinitely more creative with portrait shoots and they never run the risk of becoming formulaic or anything like that. Why did I get into photography in the first place? Well, it was to be creative and to take some awesome photos. So when things become formulaic and redundant, well, there's a level of creativity lost. And when creativity is lost, then I run the risk of burnout settling in. So how do I combat this? Well, that's a perfect segue into our main talking point. I'm going to improve my skills and start doing boudoir photo shoots. Now, what is a boudoir photo shoot? Well, it comes to the French word meaning a woman's private salon or something along those lines. Now, this type of photography features mainly people in an erotic setting, wearing lingerie or maybe even nude. Now, this type of shoot can truly be done anywhere, studio, house, nature, really anywhere to get the aesthetic that you're currently looking for. Now, this isn't entirely new territory for me. I have done some previous boudoir photo shoots in the past, and I definitely have to say that the first time I ever tried this type of photography, I froze up. It was like my entire mind just went blank. So I had my model in front of me. It was the first time I was ever doing a shoot like this. And when I got behind the camera, I completely froze up and it sort of took me back to a place of being a novice again. But I have to say that was only the first shoot. And when I allowed myself to simply be a novice that's learning the skills of the trade, I really enjoyed the challenge. It became fun to overcome fears, to challenge myself and to tap into a creative side. And that's how I want to combat burnout. I want to always be challenging myself. I want to focus on always honing my craft and becoming better at this thing that I love. I want to look back and think, damn, I came a long way. Now, the top three problems that I face when entering this market are as follows. Number one, I'm a male. Number two, there's always some difficulty marketing these kinds of shoots. Number three, I lacked a system and structure to grow. So no matter how you want to break it down, being a male in this kind of market is a hurdle. Most women are going to feel some type of apprehension getting undressed in front of a random male. And that's completely understandable. The last thing I would ever want to do is to make a client feel uncomfortable. Now, the only way that I could fix this problem is to never, ever, ever be alone with a female. I always bring another female with me in order to sort of offset that uncomfortability. So everybody's fully aware that they're never going to be alone, that they're going to have a female there to sort of accompany them during the shoot. And I also always tell them to bring a hype squad, bring your friends, bring anybody that's going to make you feel comfortable in this type of setting. My second problem was very frustrating. When I first started, I worked with several models and they all had a blast. They loved their images and they all had such a great experience. Now, when it came time for me to post the images, well, this is when it actually became a problem. They didn't want their photos shared. Now, when you take a photo, and as a photographer, I stand by this. When you take a photo, you own that image. It's, it's yours, it's nobody else's. However, in the nature of this shoot, if a client says they don't want a photo posted, it's not going to be posted. So 
the only way for me to get around this problem currently is to have my clients look at all the photos and fully approve giving me the thumbs up to use this particular image so then i could use these images for branding for marketing and everything like that and i never have to run into this issue ever again now the third problem that i had previously is that i lacked the basic system in place to help me scale my business so i'm going to quickly break this down on what my system is going to be moving forward All right, phase one, it's all about improving my portfolio. And in order to do this, I'm hosting mini shoots. I'm hosting reduced price shoots. I'm focused on getting clients in. I'm working with anyone and everyone. My goal is during this phase to get a solid 50 to 100 photos that I could place in my portfolio. And I mean, these photos have to be the top of the top images, the showstoppers. This phase is all about maximizing my portfolio. Phase two, I'm joining local communities. I mean, I'm getting on Facebook and getting my name out there. I'm starting to talk to people who may be interested in working with me. I'm joining conventions. I'm becoming more of an extrovert and doing whatever it takes for people to get to know me and my brand of work. And phase three. This is sort of closely tied into phase number two. My plan here is to heavily advertise, fixing up my social media, creating a website or adding it to my current existing website and overall working on becoming an expert in this boudoir photography space. Clearly, I'm not where I want to be in this aspect of my business. But as I said, I'm giving myself new goals and aspirations, and that gives me an opportunity to do something else and to challenge myself, which I truly do enjoy. But tell me down below, what do you think of my plan? Tell me your thoughts about male photographers doing boudoir photo shoots. And if you made it this far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would truly mean the world to our business. And until I see you again, take care of yourself. Peace.